I, just, I heard the Lord said, I have oh, there, we are on the, an open heaven. Hallelujah. And I want you to praise him. Like you believe you're on the, an open heaven. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you honor. Father, we give you praise. And we expect you this morning, Lord God, to do what you want to do, Lord God. We expect you this morning to do what you will to do, Father God. We thank you, Lord God. If you believe that, come on and give God a praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you believe that he is a healer, go ahead and give him a praise. If you believe yeah. woo, that he is a deliverer, go ahead and give him praise. If you believe that he's called you to triumph in all things, go ahead and give him a praise. If you believe that he's given you breakthrough, please take up. Take that up a whole shot. Turn that music down. Hallelujah. Take that up a whole shot. If you believe, if you believe that he is a strong tower, his name is a strong tower, and you as a saint, can run into his name and you are safe. Turn the music, cut it in the name of Jesus. If you believe that he is a healer, if you believe that he is a deliverer, if you believe his name, say, Come on, come on, come on, get in, get in. If you believe that God is God and there's no other like him, if you believe he's the almighty God, there's no other like him, if you believe that I can... Come on and open your mouth. Hallelujah. Just another minute. We got time to give God some glory. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Break thick in the blue post. Hallelujah. Come on, just one more time. Lift up your hands. Open your mouth with a spirit of expectation that God is God and there's another like you. Whoa, God. Come on, put your hands together. Give him some glory. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad to be in the house of the Lord? Aren't you glad to be among the believers? Hallelujah. Where you know you already got the victory in all things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. I'm trying to move on, but I believe God wants some worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to welcome you into the house where there's expectation for God to be the healer that he is. For God to be the deliverer that he is. For God to be the lover of your soul that he is. If you want God to be God, go ahead and tell him how much you need him to be God. Hallelujah. Ooh, my sheep. I know. Ooh, I feel a spirit of expectation. Ooh. Rising in the building. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to read this scripture. Man, I feel God is wanting to do something in the house. Come on, everybody. Just say, God, have your way. Do what you want to do, God. Move like you want to move. Okay. Break. your expectation. Come on, lift it. Lift it. Now say, speak, Lord. Move, God. Demonstrate, God. Heal, God. Expand your will, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I want you to stay in this flow. I'm going to read Psalm 27. It came up with my spirit. It says, the Lord is my light. And my salvation. Whom shall I fear? 
The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me the eve of my flesh? They stumbled and fell. Though an host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this shall I be comforted. And the Bible says that one thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after that I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. <laughs> Hallelujah. And now shall my head be lifted up. Somebody say lift up. Come on, lift your head up. Mm. Above my enemies. Round about me. Therefore, I shall offer, now we go give him some glory, in his tabernacle, sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy upon me and answer me. Hallelujah. Somebody look to God and say, answer me, God. Hallelujah. Come on, now give your worship unto the Lord. With an expectation, come on, uh, of God's answer. Are you ready to hear the Lord? Come on, give him the worship. Give it to him. And then he shall answer. If you believe that, give him a praise. Come on and shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Come on and shout hallelujah. Come on, I believe God wants to do something in this place, but it's going to require you to allow him to do whatever it is that he wants to do in you and through you. Hallelujah. So, Father, we just come right now, Lord, to worship you, Father. Lord God, to submit unto you right now, Father. Lord, to bless your holy name in this moment, Father. Forgetting those things behind us, Father. Looking forward to what is coming, Father. Forgetting those things, oh God, that have been a distraction even in this moment, Lord. Lord, Father, we allow ourselves, oh God, to focus and meditate on you, Father, to meditate on your goodness, Lord. Lord, Father, to allow you to do as you please, oh God, on the inside of this place, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. Come on, tell them you thank them. Tell them thank you. Tell them thank you. Tell them thank you. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. And we just pray, Father, that you have your way this morning, God. Have your way in this place this morning, Father. Move as you desire, Father. Meet the needs, Father, that you see, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we honor you right now, Father. With the fruit of our lips, God. We honor you, Father, with our, with our bodies, oh God. We honor you, Father, with our hearts, Lord God. We honor you, Father, this morning. And pray, Father, that you have your way, Lord. Have your way, Father. We believe for those who can't believe for themselves right now, God. We stand in a gap for those who can't do it for themselves right now, Father. And we just pray, Lord, that you have your way, Father. Have your way in this place, Lord. Have your way in this place. Lord God, we thank you. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, give him a hand praise like you're excited to be here. And like you came here for him, not for us. Hallelujah. Give him a hand praise like you came here for him, not for us. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, we're going we gonna to go a little bit higher. We're going to praise our Father this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, are you expecting him to move this morning? Are you expecting him to meet your needs? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you. Come on and put 
Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah to our big mighty God. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. Father, we love you. You're so good, so good, so good. Hallelujah. 
We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
more time. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. The heavens and the earth. And earth adore the mighty God we serve. Father, you are our strength. Even now, Father, you are our strength, Lord. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. And it reaches to me. You are my strength. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength to the Father this morning. Tell him Strength like no other. And it reaches to me. Come on, sing with me to the Father. Say, in the fullness of your grace. In the power of your name. You lift me. Lord, you lift me up. In the fullness of your grace. In the power of your name. In the power of your name. Lord, you lift me up. You lift me up. Oh. You lift me up. Say you are my strength. You are. Strength like, strength like no other. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. And it reaches, reaches to me. My God, that you are my strength. You are my strength. Strength like no strength other. Like Strength like no other, and it reaches to 
to me. One more time. You are my strength. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. And it reaches to me. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lift up your hands in this place. Yes, Lord. Lift up your hands in this place. And give him glory. Give him glory, 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 glory. Oh, I give you glory, Jesus. I give, I give you all the glory, Lord. my trials. I love you past my frustration, Jesus. I love you past my pain, oh Lord. I give you glory. I give you glory, Jesus. I give you glory, Jesus. I said, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Yes, I do. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Come on, is that, is there any worshipers in here? Any worshipers? Any worshipers? 
special loves in here? Is he good anyway? Oh, come on, anybody. Is he good anyway? Uh, through all I've been through, Lord, you're still good. Uh, you're still good, oh, Lord. Yes, you are. Still good, Lord. Uh, still good, Lord. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes, you are, Jesus. Hallelujah, Father, we bless your name. Lord, we bless your name, oh, Lord. Pray with me right now. I want to give the devil a black eye this morning. He I don't know about y'all, but he tried to take me out this week. He tried to take me out. But I'm still here. Still giving God glory. I still worship him. I'm still here. He tried to take me out this week. Uh, to break my heart. Hallelujah, Father. Well, we bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, oh Lord. You're still holy. You're still worthy, Lord. Worthy, 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 worthy. And that's all I want you to know this morning. That he's still worthy no matter what you're going through. He's still worthy no matter what you're facing, God. He's still worthy, 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 worthy. Worthy is your name, Lord. Worthy are you, Lord Jesus. Woo! Yeah, that's all right. I worship by myself. Worthy are you, Lord. Worthy. Worthy are you, Lord. So worthy, worthy. So worthy, worthy, Jesus. I know how to worship myself out of one place to another. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Hallelujah. And I ask you this morning, if you've been through, if you had one of them hellacious weeks, if the hell's hounds tried to unleash itself on you this week, Aaron, don't stop playing. If hell hounds tried to release itself on you this week, then I speak over your spirit. Release it. We let it go, Lord. We let it go, Jesus. Give God. Oh, oh, Jesus. I hear the Lord just let go. I hear the Lord say, let it go. I hear the Lord say, let it go. Release it to me. Release it to me, says the Lord. You are my strength. Oh, We release it. We release it. All the pain, all the frustration. Pastor Sean, it's gone. It's gone. We release it. We release it. In the name of Jesus. Come on, lift up those hands on. Those holy hands all over this house. We release it. We release it. We release it. You can hold on to it if you want to. That's between you and God. You can hold on to all that bitterness. That's between you and God. You can hold on to all that anger. But Mama B, you say, I, I'm letting this go. It's got to go. Did y'all know bitterness and unforgiveness is murderous? Did you know its purpose is to literally destroy, destroy your spirit? Let it go. In the name of Jesus, we let it go. Come on, clap those holy hands all over this house. Hallelujah. 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 And if you got to forgive you, if you are the one that offended you, if you offended the Spirit of God, God says you can let that go too. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. You can say, I forgive me. Hallelujah. 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 It is impossible. Listen to me. It's impossible Hallelujah. to get seed into uncultivated ground. 
if the ground is not broken up, it will not receive the seed. And if the ground does not receive the seed, it cannot receive the moisture. See, because yeah. what, what moisture does to broken ground, it sets it, it makes it like a suction. And when the seed hits it, it draws the, it draws the seed into the soil. Because the ground is ready for the seed. Because the ground and the seed is ready. Oh, my God. The seed is prepared. The moment is called seed. The ground has to be prepared. Receive the seed. But it has to be broken first. It has to be broken first. So if you're in your season of brokenness, don't reject it. Don't reject being broken. Don't reject it's cultivation. Oh, y'all not hearing me this morning. I don't care about how many people not here today. I don't care about none to that. None to that. I want to give the devil a black eye with my worshiper. I want to give the devil a black eye. All it does is prove to me that the word is right. You can go anywhere and get run, love, love, love. Jump up and down, up and down. Very few churches are giving you life-changing messages. I ain't saying that we're the only ones. I know we're not. I'd be stupid to believe that. But I know we're one of them that don't care whether you stay or go. But while you here, I'm going to feed you. And you're going to eat some greens, some asparagus, and I ain't talking about greens with fat back in them. I'm talking about some vegetables. I remember talking to my, 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 my natural father, my dad, my biological father, and I said, Dad, you need some greens. He said, man, I eat plenty of greens. Not that kind, Daddy. I know you eat plenty of lard and, and turkey neck ham hot greens. <laughs> that is not a substitution for some lettuce. For some spinach, some Brussels sprouts, some asparagus. Those things that may not taste good all the time, but they for your good. Oh, listen to what I'm saying. I'm going to get to the word in a minute. It takes a mature taste bud to appreciate asparagus, Pastor Parker. It takes a mature taste bud to appreciate Brussels sprouts. It takes an uh, 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 a a a a set aside taste bud to not have to have your spinach soaked in some sweetness, but I can eat it right out the bag. Yeah, your your taste buds. When your taste buds mature, then you'll receive greens better. You'll receive the things uh, uh, when your taste buds mature. You'll receive the things that you don't like the taste of, but you know they're good for my inner working. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't good to my to my taste buds, but on the inside of me, they begin to work things. Uh, they begin to work things out that I didn't even know. They begin to affect areas in my body I didn't even know about. They add strength to areas that I didn't even pray about. God is trying to mature his church. I am, uh, it is unlawful. It is unlawful in most countries to have child brides. The church is full of children brides. The church is filled, Pastor Parker, with child brides. God is trying to mature his bride so you can see the value of keeping your oil, your lamb's oil with oil. A mature bride appreciates uh, not even knowing the hour of the bridegroom's return. Keep your lamps filled. 
Sometimes you got to go in hard places to find oil. But God says if you search out, I'll always, you'll never return without your pot still. If you seek, it says the Lord, you seek me for my oil, you shall find it. But you must come after me. You must come after me like I'm the last line of life. Like I don't have, like you have another, not another breath. Because if you don't get that last breath from me, directly from me, you can't live. Minister Taji, it is true. It's true that all of our breath comes from him. Any life comes from him. He just wants us to come after him and get it from him. Like if I don't get it from him, we get so used to breathing that we forget the source of our breath. Is that Numa? Numa, Numa, Numa. The first breath that I ever took was a breath he exhaled. And every morning, did you know your sleep is the closest place to death that you can get? You ever woke up like this? That's because he blew into me. Think about it. church just kind of goes wherever it goes and as long as God is leading us there we're going to keep going think about it what are you in for get your lamp out and let's pray together Hebrews I've been teaching a series first day of teaching a series on Hebrews 10 God knows about it. It's important that you, it's important that you stay connected. If you're not here on a particular day, get the word. Go back, listen to it so you can stay connected. These are just apostolic things, nuggets I'm giving you this morning to keep you connected. That's why when you come back sometimes after being gone a while, you feel out of disjointed. Why? Because the body has moved. The kingdom is progressing. I don't care what it looks like. You can go, man, look, I have no problem with sealed churches. I have none. I I don't deal with jealousy about what no man got. Never have. The only areas I've ever dealt with jealousy is is this woman right here. Because that was given to me expressly. And I'll box, shoot, fight, stab. Yeah. All in the spirit. keep what's mine. Amen. But I can't even, I don't even supersede her from him. I'm second. I'm the second husband. She was married before I got here. And I mean that spiritually. Hallelujah. I feel the release to go ahead and move on to the word. Y'all ready for the word this morning? Come on, clap those holy hands in this house this morning. Come on, give God some glory. Nobody is responsible for your worship. Are you with him? Are you with him? Oh, I ain't going to hold that against you. You can stay. I may have to boot him, but you can stay. How you doing this time? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, mama. You came with mama. Did y'all come together? firecracker right there. Amen. She came to the uh, garage sale. She said, I'm coming. I said, I don't know. You may not want. We're a little different. She's like, but you got Jesus. That's what she told me. That's what she told me, y'all. Is Jesus? Yes, ma'am. That's good enough for me. Yeah, we got some Jesus. We might do him a little different. 
but we got some Jesus, amen? Amen, 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 amen. I love you guys with all of every fiber of my being. Y'all ready for the word? I, I, look, the enemy, boy, the enemy tried to come in like a flood on this week. Thank you, man of God. Hallelujah. Enemy tried to come in like a flood this week, but like an awesome father, he raised up a righteous standard against him. Yeah. We're that standard. And sometimes it's just about your decision. Yeah. I'm not saying that in the midst of it, I'm going to get to it. I'm not saying that in the midst of it, you don't have some slip. I, I'm going to know it don't matter how long you've been in the kingdom. You have some slip. So, But like my old pastor said, I grew up in Baptist church and I love it. He said, you can slip, but don't slide. That's what we say. Reverend Dr. J.D. Lane, Gloryland Baptist Church, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He said, you can slip, son, but don't slide. So you might have some slips and, and practice not slipping. Put on some better shoes. Sometimes you have to change the gospel, your gospel shoes, so you don't slip that much. Because if you keep slipping, get comfortable with slipping, you're going to slide. Yeah, you you gonna slide. It's just the, it, it's inevitable, cause it's the practice of sin. Amen. How many know God is looking for a bride, a church? He is on his way back, y'all. Please know that, and that he's looking for a church that's without spot or wrinkle. And if you still abide in the valley of decision right now, and you don't even know if you want to live for God, the church might be one of the most dangerous places to be. You might be safe in the club. Let me explain that. Because the glory of God is about to go through his church. And along with his glory, judgment comes. And I ain't trying to be hauling dead bodies out of here. Because you lie with your life. Because we, we lie with our lives. Our words say holy. But all of our footsteps say unholy. about something and I said Lord the deeper I get into this truth you know we've been I think the messages have been powerful coming from whoever brings them because they're all been in the same category of righteousness holiness getting your life together amen and I think the deeper we get into it, it did you know that the closer you get to God the more devils act up And so, man, I am witnessing hell. Like, it's like popcorn. Once the fire gets hot enough, they start jumping all over the place. So if your, if your mama and them, cousin and them, Uncle Pookie, Brother Ray Ray, if the closer you get to the kingdom, they start acting up, don't charge them to it. Yeah, it, it's the fire that you bring in the midst of them. It's, the, uh, it's that smell. Did you know that the smell of holiness is a stench in the nostrils of unrighteousness? So you are funky to them. You straight up stay until they want the perfume of his oil. Until they want that perfume, you smell rank to them. So it's going to frustrate everything in your environment. And so don't be annoyed to the place of pulling away. Now, if God sends you away, then you have, it is what it is. But don't pull away. Are, are you with me? Yeah. I'm trying to encourage us with the times that we're in. Yeah. The Bible says that the hour will come. The day will come where they will not tolerate that means, that means put up with. I ain't putting up with that. You done troubled too much of my life now, preacher. And so they'll start popping out of the house like popcorn. Yeah. 
and it's just starts popping everywhere. And we're going to get into this word so you can understand why I say it's wrong that they do that. And I'm going to let the word do it because first thing people want to say, well, he's trying to control. Well, what if somebody want to just go somewhere else? I don't never, I never tell people where, where not to go. I just tell people, no, it's God when you do. Because grace covers you absolutely, meaning this. God is a God of absolutes, and he don't multiple choice where you're supposed to be. Who you're supposed to be with? Anything. So he don't give you your own choice. He picks, and it's, if you know him, you know his choice for you. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y- if somebody get me, these are nuggets. These nuggets are invaluable. And because I haven't given a text yet, some people ain't even turned on their switch yet. Turn on. You may not get three points in the close. All right. Everybody, everybody, y'all still with me? Okay, you might just get a point, and I might go on with that point until the point is made. But take these nuggets. These things are invaluable. All right. Okay, I wrote something down. We've been talking about, that's good, Aaron. Thank you, son. I wrote something down. I, I was sitting in my office this morning. Father, let's pray, pray with me first. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your forgiving grace and your mercy over my life and over the lives of your people. I thank you that the soil in this house is saturated with your new worship. I thank you that the ground is broken up by, by whatever means that you had to use this week to break us up to a place where we came to this place hungry, thirsting for your word. So sometimes, Father, we forget that, that, that you have to make us hungry and make us thirsty. You withhold water to make us thirsty, Jesus. You withhold food to make us hungry. Woo! Yeah, so sometimes uh, we ain't hungry enough, so you take everything from us. Sometimes you ain't, we ain't thirsty enough, so you take everything from us. And then we come running back to where the source of the water is, where the source of the manna is. And today I believe that over your people, that those that are here today, came with an understanding that they would re- receive everything that they need. And Lord, I decree with every ounce of apostolic authority that you've given me, that they shall receive by the Spirit of God. That not one who is hungry and thirsty and has a heart of expectation will leave out of here empty. But filled with the knowledge of your grace and mercy. Hard word, soft word, tender, whooping, chastening, whatever it may be. They will receive with gladness. It is my decree. It is my declaration. I will not change it. You said that I'm God and I change it. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. So does it this way. And I'm not going to change it. Anybody believe that? Say in Jesus' name. Only say it if you believe it. In Jesus' name, we agree. Amen. Amen. Come on, clap those holy hands and give God some glory. One more again in this house. All right, I'm going to be real simple today, but I'm going to get this out of my spirit, I promise you. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Hallelujah. We will have you out of here, Lord willing, by by, uh, before 12. That is my plan anyway. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm going to read to you what the Spirit of God had me write earlier today. I was talking to my son, and stuff just began to come up in my spirit. But I was talking to my wife first this week. And, and God began to, uh, y'all still with me? I'm going to talk a little of this. And I told you, these, th- this, throughout this series, I, I'm going to be teaching. I'm going to get a little happy, but I'm going to be teaching. Amen? So, so we've been teaching on emerging. And we've been teaching on, on the things or uh, uh, the reasons why or uh, uh, the things that affect emergence. Amen? So I begin to look at my own life. I'm going to just talk about me. Mama, I'm going to take me out today. Okay? I'm going to expose me today because I know how to get free. I, 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 I faced a whole lot of trauma this week, and I didn't handle all of it well. Yeah, I, I was in some cases, I ain't go beat nobody up and cuss nobody out from amazing grace and sweet opportunity, but I was snapping, and I was just tired. Sometimes you get, you just say, I'm over it. And your humanity, how many knows that we have two parts of who we are? We have our divinity, and we have our humanity. And sometimes our, they get, their lines get crossed. Oh, I'm going to preach a truth today. It's free us in this house. 
Hallelujah. And so so my lines of divinity and my humanity got crossed this week. I snapped at my wife a few times. And, you know, and I felt bad right afterwards because I know that's not who I was and who I wanted to be. I was just wearied with all the other stuff that was going on. I was getting shot from every direction, Pastor Parker, unjustly shot. And if you're going to justify your shooting me, shoot me. But I was getting shot at, my daughter, prophetess, I was getting shot at by, my wife said it this morning, sniper. A sniper's mission, they don't have to know you, don't have to know what are you about. They just, their whole mission is to what? It's to kill you. It's to de- bring distraction to a man of God. And the enemy knows that at a fight with my mission. It, it, and, and a lot of times will bring symptoms back. I say, I, I still live on this side of glory. Now, I know I came from there, and I'm a sojourner on my way back, but I live here. And sometimes I'm affected by the rules you find here. Can I just be honest? I, I just want to be honest. And so I was affected this week. After you getting shot so much, you said, no, I wanted to use the N-word, enough is enough. Now, I don't want to offend nobody, but I got a gun. I don't pack it all the time. But I know church folk ain't all right all the time. And so sometimes they might want to lay hands on you ungodly. I ain't trying to match the carpet, but I ain't going to let you make me match it either. (laughs) I ain't get that upset, but I was close. Let me just go hold my gun, God. God said, don't you touch it. Leave it in that closet where you got it locked up. I just have it for traffic. A lot of times you go in some of these places, man, especially now. Yeah, and I'm not about to be strange fruit. <laughs> Billy Holiday sang about it, but that he wasn't talking about me. Yeah, I tell you, you, you get me. How many? Eleven in the clip, one in the chamber, twelve going. With me. <laughs> you can get me as a boss and something, though. Don't let the grand dragon come first. <laughs> you get the head, you, you, kill the rest of the, you kill the rest of the snake with the head. Get back to it. And so, so this week, my humanity got tangled up with my divinity. But I thank the Father. Why? Val, I thank him because... It was a lesson he wanted me to learn. Now, let me tell you something. God does not waste anything. Even in your trial, in your frustration, in your misery, in your sorrows, all things work together. The good, the bad, and the ugly, they all work together for your good. So as painful as some of the stuff was, Pastor, and frustrated as I was, and God says, I want you to sit quiet because I want to tell you something now. And so I got a handwritten piece of paper I'm about to read. It's what he told me. It's going to encourage you like it did me. A lot of pastors ain't going to share their nakedness. See me if it's going to deliver you. Hallelujah. See my brokenness if you're going to heal. Hallelujah. See my nakedness if, if you're going to be delivered. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something about your pastors wherever you go. They ain't perfect. They messed up. And the more they don't reveal, it's the more they got to reveal. And if they don't reveal it in these few moments, God will expose it all. God's going to expose it all, and we're going to see for sale signs on hundreds of churches. Because God is tired of it. Hallelujah. Line these people. Hear me. Men and women of God that might listen to this. Come clean. Expose yourself or God will. Hurting God's people. Did you know as, Did you know men of God can hurt God's people by not telling them the truth? Yeah. 
I would rather hear an ugly truth than a beautiful lie. Don't pretty up nothing for me. Hurt my feelings. But tell me the truth. I want to be delivered. Anybody here want to be delivered? I want to be healed. I want to be broken free. I don't want no more chains on me. So say whatever you need to say to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then the prophet said, like, prophet lie, you a new house. I don't need your money that bad. Let me read this. Let me read this. And we're going to get into this. I, I wanted to make this section three parts, but I might be done after this or two parts. Listen, listen. We're talking about emergence. And emergence is, or we're talking about, the, I think the name of this series is A Warning to the Emerging Church. And we, we discovered on last week that the word emerge means to, to come away from obscurity into prominence or from a dark place into light or from a low place into elevated. It means to spring up, to surface, to crop up, to pop up, to come up. So it means to remove yourself or by the Spirit of God be removed from low to high, from a place of, of backside to, to a forefront. Is somebody still with me? Okay, the Holy Spirit say stay still. I'm going to say something. Tom will do that. He knows he's going to say something. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah, so, 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 it means to emerge means that you are coming from nothingness to greatness. Now, my question for you is, you think the devil didn't know where you were? You think he didn't know when you left home and where you were going? Okay, let me say this again. Because church folks think I'm saying that they got the devil. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying the enemy knows the things that he still has tied to you. I feel like, damn, I'm not going to because I can't. I ain't never been able to. And I ain't been embarrassed Jesus like that. All my wife. So you think the enemy does not know huh, the place that you decided to abandon him. Okay, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. All right, we told him to get through this. So emergence is how the spirit emerges is gravity by the spirit of God losing its hold on you in the spirit. And, and see, I know my God does not obey the laws of nature. He don't have to unless he wants to. He ain't got to, though. So gravity is not binding to our God. Uh, gravity would have to let you go in order for you to elevate. If y'all started floating in here today, gravity loses its hold on you. Yeah. So in the spirit, gravity has lost its hold on us, Pastor Parker. And we are elevating now. So my question to us is, and I know it's happened to you because it happened to me over the last few weeks, month, or whatever it is, few months or whatever, sometimes that old stuff, residue, I call it residue. I ain't saying you're bound by it. I ain't saying you got the devil of anything. But sometimes the residue of yesterday is still present in your today. But in a time of emergence, God says, I'm going to get it out. I'm going to get even the residue of yesterday out of your spirit. Oh, man, I feel this thing in my spirit. Hallelujah. I'm trying to stay focused. Hallelujah. Okay, so gravity uh, holds, holds down everything. But once God says enough is enough, then gravity even loses its hold. Because our God don't have to obey gravity. And so, so in order for us to elevate or to emerge, gravity has to release us. But the things that we had in us elevate too. All right, okay. I 
to get going to be my message today. Yeah, because we still talk about emergence and the warning for that. Yeah, and I and, and I don't feel the need to talk very, very long. Y'all get to do this before other churches let out. When you begin to emerge and elevate, the things that you forgot about didn't forget about you. The cheesesteaks and the boundaries in your spirit kept them at bay. Yeah. But when you are about to be revealed, God says, what? I, I can't reveal you without exposing it. So he said, the reason why I'm letting these things come up, because they come up to do what? Woo! They only come up to come out. So the reason why I'm letting these things come up, you thought they were gone, but I need them out. I need them things out. And if I did not expose them to you, you would have thought you were all right. They would have exposed you later on. See, they wait for, the devil is cunning. He he never wanted you to see you still deal with that, and that, and that, and yeah, that too. Uh, Are y'all with me? And so he, the devil says, oh, no, no, no. So it ain't even the devil bringing these things up. You don't need to bind the devil. You need to confess and release. This ain't the devil. This is some stuff that was already birthed in you a long time ago, but it's just residue. But as you elevate, it does too. And because it bears little weight, it comes up before. In the midst of your elevation, Pastor Parker, I'm going to be almost done. I'm going to be almost done right now. In the midst of your elevation, these things, uh, God says, no, I'm going to expose them. Yeah. So I can reveal you. Because if I reveal you before I expose it, it would expose you later. Dealing with lust, yeah, your office at your office going to be problematic later. This is so good. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because I ain't had nothing to do with this but to have my hand. Things begin to stir and do a donkey. Act a fool. I mean, act a fool. Bank attitudes, bad disposition, a look of non Christianity. What in the world? On my life, I'm talking about me. Now, y'all used to preach this line to you and tell you we just preached from go and go and look at some of the strip clubs on Saturday night. Take the license plate down because I can promise you to go to any church Sunday morning and some of them belong to the pastor. You don't want to believe it, but it's the truth. Don't matter whether you believe it or not, it's still the truth. And for the record, no, that ain't me. I ain't got to go to no strip club. My wife is fine. And I've been raining for 35 years almost. Make it rain. I've been raining. There ain't been no singles either. I wish I would rain her some singles. <laughs> ain't no fives. She like Jacksons and Grants. Let me say this. Let me say this. I'm, I'm pondering the Holy Spirit to see how much further I have to go. Can I say this? I don't see it. We mess people up with the way I do things. I know. I'm just saying. I'm probably done after this. I ain't, oh, I ain't asking permission. I'm not asking permission. I'm just stating a fact. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, let me give us something. See, because let me tell you what the Spirit of God always does. He will tell you what you did, tell you what you'll get if you don't fix it, and then tell you what he does, what he'll do after you do. Amen? 
That's the nature of God. There is always a way of escape, and there's always restoration when it's over. What I want to tell you, I, I grew up with, a, with an apostle who said, son, tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them, then tell them what you told them. So that's what I'm doing right now. Keeping this sermon in, or whatever you want to call it, as simple as I can. Okay, let me give you some help. Don't beat yourself up. That's what the Lord taught me. Remember it. Oh, that's good. I might need to say that. He said, tell my people don't beat themselves up. Okay? He said, remember what's bringing you to this place. What do I mean? You are elevating and emerging. So as dark as the day seems, it is because of light that you found yourself in this place. I might have to leave some, I might have to stay like that a minute. Hold on. Hold on. See, because if you linger in what you see, the enemy's mission is to put you back down. But God says, no, remember what brought you. It is your elevation. It's my pleasure of your life. It's my being pleased with you that brought you to this place where I can expose not you, but what's inside of you still so I can use you. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Is this helping anybody? Because if you if you wait for the points and all that today, you're going to miss it. Let me say it to this side. You're in a place, an uncomfortable place. Be honest with where you are. You snapped at your wife or she at you. Y'all went and y'all done been on it at each other. It could be fixed today. But I want you to know you you don't deserve to be beat up. And I ain't just talking to Pastor Parker because I'm feeling nothing because people be like, "Mm, what's going on over here? Ain't that his wife? Why she still around? Mm. Why she ain't sitting next to me? What's going on? Pastor spending a whole lot of time over there. Seed loves to be with soil that is receptive. So my point is, don't beat you up, mama. Don't beat you up. It's all right. Yeah. It is the light that brought, that manifested this darkness. Ooh. Because as he go, as you go up, uh, his light reveals darkness, which lightens the load and hastens your elevation. I say it again. Sin has weight. Oh, you don't believe me? The sin and the weight. Yeah. So sin has weight that easily chokes us, besets us, holds us down. But as you as you grab, as you elevate, huh? Sometimes you got to get rid of. I remember seeing some old old balloon stories, like around the world in eighty days and all that kind of. They 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 were being held down. They had to take some stuff and throw it off. Get rid of this, get rid of that, because it's holding me down. So God says the only purpose of this is to alleviate some weight so you can, so I can uh, accelerate your elevation. Drop the mic. You are. Yeah. Let me tell you my book. Let me tell you why. Or, or how a loving father does it. Has he exposed you in front of all and hurt your feelings? And one, and one, see, God won't do that. That's not what a loving father does. He takes you and he says, under the shadow of the Almighty. Ah, oh, yeah, he that dwells in the what? In the secret place shall abide. Woo! Hey! Abayate. Oh, shall abide under the shadow. It is under his shadow, in the secret place of his pavilion, that he begins to work on you. Oh, my God. And so the pain, then his pavilion and his wings are your cocoon, baby. And as you morph into the butterfly, the pain of the process of your metamorphosis is hidden by his pavilion. Psalm 91. So don't anybody be able to say he ain't reading that. That's a scripture. I ain't see him open that box. Psalm 91, that's the text for the day if you need one. (laughs) He's not going to wound you. He's not going to cut you to shreds. 
that's not the heart of a loving father. And any good parent tells a child where they're wrong at. A good parent a lot of times won't even, unless the whole group, like my mom, my mom will be at all y'all getting the whooping. Come on, line up. I'm still bitter about Sean. Sean got two out of ten whoopings growing up. <laughs> Where my mom at? I'm, I'm offended. Because he would hide, <laughs> run under the bed, and wear her out. She was like, I'm tired now. I'm tired. I'll be back. I said, if I knew now, then what I know now, I'll be like, you ain't back yet. If the Terminator had been out then, I'd be like, you ain't back yet. You said you'd be back, and Arnold Schwarzenegger came back, mama. He's not going to do this to us. I understand the level of pain you're in right now. But you can't stay there. And if you've experienced, like my wife, you know, I ain't beat my wife up and doing all these things I used to do. It's just, but what I did do was wrong. And it may take her a minute, because her husband, you know, I mean, her, it may take her a minute. I can't expect her to be all better right now. What I do know is she knows her man. She knows this papa guy. She loved, we've been married almost 30 years, coming on around with 35 years. Yeah. When something has been gone for so long and frustration brings it back up, do you know it can bring the same pain that you remember then? So I have to be cognizant of the pain she had before. Nowhere near the pain, because then I was violent and vulgar. I'm not that dude. So ain't nowhere near that. But it still brings residue whew, from her hurt place. Okay, did y'all hear what I said in that? Somebody missed me. The residue that was in her was revealed by the residue that was in me. residue of hurt that's still there because sometimes just the memory of it yeah. I hope this helping somebody I don't know what you expected but I'm going to do what God say do and that's it if you don't believe just ask my wife she'll tell you when nobody beat up or cussed on me but it doesn't take much when you've been out of somewhere to remind you of where you used to be. This is a mature word for mature people. When you when you when you get there, go back and listen to it. It'll help. So I'm saying two things are necessary. Whew. No, three things. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Are necessary in this time of elevation. Confess it. Yeah. Repent. Then let it go. In that order. Confess the, confess the residue. Repent for what the residue might have caused. Then let it go. Woo! Just going to help you. Just going to help you. Confess the residue. Oh, Lord, I see it. It's horrible. It ain't me, God. But God says, I know it's not you. That's why I'm getting it out of you. It's far and it's strange. Yeah. My, 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 my. My, 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 my Jesus. Woo, God, yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm so grateful. Let me say it one more time. We have to confess it. Yeah. You got to confess it. Because if you don't acknowledge the fact that it's there, it'll never go anywhere. And we 
talked about secret sin. Secret sin is that sin that we hope will go away on its own. It never does. You have to confess it. You have to go back and fix what you broke. And then after you fix it, let it go. So let it go. So let it go. So if you're in here today, and my story, it ain't have to be the same story. But I thought, Pastor Parker, that my truth would help somebody else in their truth. Yeah. So if part of my story was yours, I release you by the Spirit of God today to confess it. Secondly, repent, fix what you broke, then let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Just let it go. Just let it go. Just let, just let it go. Just let it go. Just let, don't bind your own self to a low place of living. The enemy don't have that kind of power unless you give it to him. Don't you bind you to low-level living. Hey, baby girl, he don't have that kind of power. Unless you give it to him. And, and to give it to him, you have to forfeit it from you. I just want to say that. He's going to help me in a minute. Get a mic for that. Oh, go ahead. Try to get it. You can see she's going to pay it forward right now. Aaron, play something she can worship to. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just think we should worship out of here. We take up the offering and all that, and number one, Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe I said with all my heart what you wanted me to say today, and that's all I can say. If I go any further, Father, I stretch moving into my own self, and I just don't want to do that. I just don't want to do that. So, Father, I release myself. And your people. In the name of Jesus. Barbara, just come and just give him some glory for a couple minutes. Just a couple minutes. Just give him some glory. Just come on, let's just worship it. And in the midst of this, if you if 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 in the midst of this is how you need to repent, if in the midst of this is how you need to just flow, just flow. Yeah. If in the midst of this is where you need to, if you need to come to the altar, it's okay. It's open. We're going to have ministers and pastors up here to pray with you. But you don't need to walk out of here. Not another moment bound to that thing to keep you from elevating. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father.